Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with indexing with a database. I have a database open here which shows quite a few rows. You can see it's a database called People and we're in the Employees table. So if I were to browse the table you can see that there are a total of 16,000 rows here. If I were to look at the sales we're going to see that it has 24,000 rows. So these are relatively large and they're big enough to make an influence when we use indexes. So let's take a look at the design of our table. So I'm switching over here to the MySQL Workbench and this has additional tools that you might not have seen before. So let's go to the Employees table and right click and choose Select a Thousand Rows and you can see the details here. Now I'm going to go to the top and choose this button which is called Execute the Explain command and when I do I get a graph this shows me that I did a full table scan and notice the color is red, which means that this was a very inefficient scan because it required the computer to look at every single row. And it gives me a cost value. What's that cost say, 3,000 something? Now, if I were to tell it that I want to only select certain amounts of rows, then I can have a where clause and I can ask it to find only certain things. So like for instance, if I said where the age is greater than 90 and I'm going to choose the select again and this time you can see that it has fewer rows that have been selected. Now I'm going to choose the explain button again and it will now tell me that I only have a certain uh, cost of 2000 something. If I were to raise this to a very high number so that only a few people are selected I'm going to get a cost of 82. So why is it 82? Well, there's probably because there's about 82 results that came through my search. So why is it doing a explain in a yellow and sometimes in a red color? Well, the difference is that there is an index that's been applied. So let's go look at the table again. I'm going to right click and choose Table Inspector. And this time I'm going to go to the Indexes column. And you can see that I have applied several indexes to this table the age index. The type of index is called a B tree, which is for the word binary tree. Now, binary trees are from the class that you'll take later called data structures and algorithms, and you'll learn all about what a tree is. For right now, all you need to know is that it is a way to organize the set of data in a way that the computer can quickly scan through all of the rows in a quick manner. If I were to uh, choose this button up here called Drop Index, it's going to tell me that you no longer have an index on age. So now let's go back to the employee's uh, query. Where was that? Right here. And when I choose the Explain, notice that the table scan had to turn red this time. Now there's no index on, applied to this system. And so the only way it can find employees who are greater than age 99 is to go through every single row in the table, which is very inefficient. The cost is not 83 or whatever that was, it's now some 3,000. So 2% of the work on the indexed scan and 100% of a scaled work if you don't have an index. Let's go back to the people's employees and choose the columns and this time I'm going to add the index again. So if I right click it, I can create the index. It's going to ask me a little bit about it and I'll choose the default algorithm. So I'm just going to let the computer do its thing. When I go back to indexes, you'll see that it chose to put, hopefully, put the index on there. So let's uh, right click on employees again and choose table inspector and choose indexes. And so now you can see here the age uh, column has the B tree algorithm applied to it. And so now if we were to go back to the query and do another scan using the explain statement, we're back to the efficient algorithm scanning now. So very little work to do to get 58 rows. The amount of work it measured was 82, 82 costs. So I'm not sure what the unit of 82 means, but I just know that it's a lot less than 3,300. So that's practically how to apply an index and how to remove it. 
Now you notice some in times indexes are not used at all. So if I were to ask for a different query, I want to say select all the people whose age is greater than 50. When I do a scan, it says we're going to do the whole table scan. So there wasn't any benefit to using the index at 50. Let's try 80. It still turns as a red result. Let's put it up to 90 and do it explain. And it's now in a yellow range. Let's try one where it's very efficient. If I want to find the ID number of somebody who is at ID number nine, what kind of a scan do you think that'll be? Now it says blue. And the cost to scan exactly one row is a cost of one. Now the practical result of applying indexes is usually when an application is noticed to be running slowly and the users are seeing maybe a few seconds delay from every query and every button click on your app. And so if that occurs, then maybe an index is what you need. And so this is how you would do it in MySQL. If learning how to program is interesting to you, then why don't you subscribe to the channel because it's like coming to class with me. My name is Shad Sluter and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona. So thanks for coming and we'll see you in the next one.